85% of all information it has a geographic component to it tied to some location on the Earth's surface. We see that in our cell phones, that your mobile phone apps have a location piece that's whether you're looking for a place to eat dinner tonight or directions to the library, that behind the scenes, geographic information technology is making those searches possible. GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems computer-based set of tools that assist us in collecting and managing and analyzing geographically referenced information. I have a job with the military doing work with remote sensing imagery and I found that GIS was the best opportunity for me at the University of Wyoming to transfer that skill over into the civilian world. The new program in geospatial information science and technology is about delivering interdisciplinary, state-of-the-art education and training to undergraduates and graduate students in the areas of geographic information systems, remote sensing, spatial analysis. One of the new and I think really exciting things that this curriculum will bring to campus is opportunities to acquire training in the use of unmanned aerial vehicles, oftentimes called drones. It's about planning the mission for flying the drone, flying the drone, collecting the data, knowing uh, the best way to collect that data, what kind of sensor to pair with the drone itself, and then bringing that back into the computer lab and being able to analyze that data and turn it into useful information. Here at the University of Wyoming, we have a set of the Art 3D visualization facility these include virtual reality tools like the CAVE Automatic Virtual Environment or the CAVE for short. If you are working with virtual reality technology, you can access in areas that you would not otherwise visit in the real world because they are dangerous or physically inaccessible, including underground. If you have visualization technologies that support collaborative efforts, then you have greater advantage because people are discussing what they are looking at to develop solutions to very complex geographic problems. We're taking a very interdisciplinary approach in that this curriculum will be applicable whether you're an engineering student, a student in the business college, anthropology, or studying wildlife management. Usually there's not a lot of jobs that are GIS only. You're doing a GIS that has a specific application. There's a lot of jobs out there, especially with government, local government and state government that can really use that skill set. By utilizing these tools, you're able to get an analysis that's meaningful to a lot of people.